Greetings, beloved. Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received on November the 2nd, 2015, from the Lord Jesus. The title of the message is, My Word is My Sword. And the Lord Jesus began, My Word is in my mouth. A sword is in my mouth. My Word is my sword. It slays all my enemies. It lays bare the heart of man and exposes every sin. It is important to take note of my words. In my tongue is the power of life and death. My words can bring health and vitality to your flesh and bones or death and condemnation. I desire to bring life to your mortal bodies, but many are disobedient and remain so to the end, and to them my words are words of death. I cannot do any more for you if you continue to turn a deaf ear to me and my Holy Spirit. In the end is the day of reckoning. Stop being hard-headed, open your heart, and listen and obey my words. My words to you will be health and life. To the ever disobedient, walk cautiously, for tomorrow is not promised to you. I alone know the number of your days. There is not a soul on earth that walks the valley of death before I call out honestly to them to repent. My heart is that none perish, but man has grown cold and careless with his soul. I say once again, you are eternal. You must choose where your soul will reside eternally. I cannot force you to choose me. You must willingly accept my grace for your life, and I will come into your heart and save your soul. I love all men, all, for I created every soul, yet many are lost to me because they have shut their ears to my spirit's calling and willingly followed the evil one into eternal damnation. I am calling to you, O disobedient and rebellious one. You have defied me for so long that your ears have become dull and heavy. You have willingly blinded yourself. You are your own obstacle to grace. I beseech you to please come to me. I am ready, here, waiting for you. You really have no idea of the terrors that hell holds. Many souls in hell are crying out for relief from their everlasting torments. Day and night they cry out in a place where time goes on forever. They are severely tormented. They cannot find relief for their souls. No water to quench their thirst. No break in the never-ending tortures that the demons subject them to. They seek relief, but it eludes them. There is no love in hell. Only hate, disgust, division discouragement, and every evil thing you can and cannot imagine. The torture is never-ending. I do not desire that any human being that I created end up in hell. However vile your sins are, I am able to blot them out completely by the power in my blood, and I am able to cleanse you completely. There is power in my blood that you cannot even begin to fathom. Come to me and see. I will prove myself faithful to my words, and I will redeem you to myself. You must trust me and have faith in my word. What I say I will do, I will accomplish. I am not a man that I should lie, nor the son of man that I should repent. Come to me, let me prove myself to you. I took off my glory and stepped down into the earth to take on human flesh that I may redeem it to myself. I went through the same temptations you face and I overcame all. If I had not become a human being, I would never have understood the temptations of the flesh. But I do understand, and I am able to save you from all of them. Come, I am calling you now to come. Turn away from your wicked ways, and trust me to do what I say I can do. I am not saying that once you are saved, all temptations will cease. No, I am saying I am able to help you overcome, as you learn to trust me and run to me every time you fall. Do not run away from me. Run to me. I do not care if you fall ten times a day. Learn to run to me and sincerely repent of your sins, and I will cleanse you. I want to see a determination to change, a teachable spirit, a humble spirit that can receive correction and change. I do not mean that you can continue sinning carelessly when you are saved. No, God forbid. But if you do fall, come back to me. Let me help you overcome your weaknesses. Do not listen to the devil. He will tell you you are lost to me forever because you sinned. He will desire to make you abandon me and walk with him into further sin. I say turn back, come back, and slowly but surely you will learn to overcome as you realize that I always provide a way out of every temptation. 
you will notice that I warn you ahead of time that you are about to fall. If you listen to my voice and obey it and take countermeasures to avoid those temptations, then you will learn to overcome them. I remind you to avoid temptations or situations that trigger you to fall. Listen, it is I speaking to you. Listen and obey. However hard your flesh desires to sin, you must learn to be master over it or it will lead you to fall. While in the world, your flesh had rule over you, but in my kingdom, you must rule over it. Subdue it underfoot and make it subject to the Holy Spirit, for he is here to help you overcome. I love you, my cubs, my brides, and those of you who are not yet saved. All of you come to me. Let me strengthen you and help you to overcome the sin that so easily besets you. My brides, it is your duty to help those who are so sorely tempted. Keep on praying for them, living a victorious life before them. Show them what it is like to be subject to my Holy Spirit and not to the flesh. Tell them how you overcame your own flesh, that they may be encouraged and not despair. Testify of what I have done for you, how far I have brought you, that their hope may be in me. This is my calling and assignment to you, and you will be able to overcome the devil through my blood and the word of your testimony. You will be able to win souls for me. This is truly your highest calling, my brides, to show Jesus to all the world. They must see me in you. You must be distinct from everyone else because of me living in you. Do not light your candle and put it under a chair. No, let the world see your light, that they may come to me and find rest for their souls. Work diligently, for I am coming for you soon. Then it will be night and you will not be able to work anymore. I am coming. I am coming to take my bride home. I desire to find as many as possible ready for me when I come. O oh, disobedient and rebellious ones, listen to me now. Come to me now. Let me save you now before I return so that when I return you will be ready to come up to me. The rapture will mark the separation of the faithful from the unfaithful and the beginning of the rule of the beast openly. For years, he has ruled from the shadows, undercover, but after the rapture, he will be unmasked and will go out with great fury to destroy as many of my cubs as possible. His mission is to deceive as many souls as he can before his seven-year reign is up. If you want to avoid the terror he will unleash on the world during the tribulation period, then come to me now before the rapture, and I will rescue you and make you escape this terrible time. You will not have to live through the tribulation period. Instead, you will be in heaven with me, enjoying the banquet I have prepared for my bride. You will meet your loved ones who have gone ahead of you, discover the many wonders of heaven that I have in store for you, and you will live in peace for all eternity. I love you all, and I desire to rescue as many as come to me, and I will give you the rest that your soul desires. Listen to my words. Take heed. They are a warning to you and to all who listen. I love you with an everlasting love. I am waiting for your response. And that, beloved, was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Amen.